about time we talk about long tail keywords. This concept is not new, like at all, but there's a lot of confusion surrounding it. So I'm going to take you through how you can quickly and easily increase both traffic and conversions by finding the best, most relevant and lucrative long tail keywords for any website. Hey, it's Emily here from Fat Joe, where we provide on-demand services and resources for all things digital marketing. Let's start by explaining what long tail keywords are and why you should target them. There is massive confusion among the digital marketing community over what a long tail keyword actually is. To summarize, it's a low volume search term that is often very specific, niche orientated, and has little competition within the search results. Long tail keywords are essentially low hanging fruit. They're easier to rank for with less resources than their high volume broader counterparts because they have very little competition. The low search volume often puts SEOs off targeting them, but they also have the potential to be high converting. Users searching with long tail keywords often have a very clear search intent. They know exactly what they want to achieve from their search. They know what information, product or place they're after. This means if you're able to provide that exact answer, you're onto a winner. A well-known myth is that long tail keywords are always long meaning that every search phrase contains a long chain of words. This makes sense because surely the more words you add to a Google search, the more specific it's going to be. However, the name given to long tail keywords actually comes from the visual these keywords create on a graph as opposed to the number of words used within that query. The keywords are plotted against volume on the Y axis and number of keywords on the X axis. I've popped some examples across the graph so you can get an idea of the types of searches that will exist within each section. As you can see, there are so many more long tail keywords than there are of the head or seed keywords. Ahrefs confirms this as they state that nearly 4 billion keywords are searched less than 10 times per month compared to the thousands of keywords with search volumes of 100,000 plus. So to recap, a long tail keyword must be specific, have a low search volume and low competition. These three attributes are important to bear in mind whenever you're searching for long tail keywords. Now for the best bit. I'm going to take you through exactly how to find long tail keywords for your website to target. But before I do, make sure you subscribe to our channel for even more digital marketing guides and tutorials. So how do you find the best long tail keywords? We need to start with a broad topic idea. In this case, say we own a gardening blog for beginners, or we have a client that's creating website content for their garden supply store. Google's own search suggestions and related searches are an excellent place to get started with your long tail keyword research. I'll start with gardening for. Google will autofill my search query based on the most popular searches. Here we have gardening for beginners, which is relevant to our target audience. We'll choose that search and scroll to the bottom of the page. Here we'll find Google's related searches. These phrases are popular Google searches related to your initial search query. This is such a simple way to begin generating ideas for long tail keywords to target, as well as the type of content you should be creating. The first phrase that jumps out at me is the search for flower gardening for beginners. This is a specific topic within gardening that I'm sure many people need help with to create an aesthetic garden. Namely me, I do not have green fingers. Anyway, let's dig a little deeper into this particular search term. Another source of inspiration is the people also ask section of the search results. This special rich snippet is often triggered by both question and broad related queries. Whenever you click to expand one of these questions, more will show. Keep jotting down notes of different questions, topics and keywords that sound of interest. Ubersuggest is another free tool at your disposal. It's good to use in conjunction with Google search to maximize your ideas generated. You could then head back into Google and start this process again with your chosen keyword ideas. Be wary of falling down an idea generation rabbit hole. It would be impractical to try and rank for every single long tail keyword. So to find the best keywords to target, we're going to use Ahrefs, which is an extensive paid keyword research tool to compare the traffic of the top ranking results. You'll see here that flower bed borders has a higher search volume than pavers for flower bed edging. 
Given that the ranking difficulty is pretty similar, you'd think that the best option would be flower bed borders. However, when we take a closer look at the search results for flower bed borders, we can see that the traffic driven to these sites is pretty low compared to the search volume. Some pages are ranking well for other keywords, but not all. If we compare this to pavers for flower bed edging, we can see that the traffic is higher than the search volume in most cases, and they're ranking for a greater number of keywords. So this phrase could be a good one for us to target. Before making a definitive choice, you'll want to take a good look at the authority, backlinks, and the type of website that's ranking, and compare all this to the website you're trying to rank. For example, we have a few large retailers such as Home Depot and Lowe's here, although there are a couple of blogs there too. Now pay special attention to the top keyword. It gives you an idea of what each page is trying to rank for. If you decide that you're in a position to be able to target a slightly higher search volume long tail keyword, this column will tell you which of those larger topics you could target to be able to rank for a slew of long tail phrases. All that additional traffic adds up. So we've used Google search and Ubersuggest to generate long tail keyword ideas and narrowed these down using Ahrefs. But this isn't the only strategy for finding long tail keywords. There is another approach to quickly and easily finding the perfect long tail keywords to increase both traffic and conversions. And that's by doing some competitor analysis. This approach in particular will unlock the ability for your URL to automatically rank for thousands of other keywords. If you can rank well for these keywords, you'll be able to benefit from the traffic driven from so many other long tail keywords without having to specifically create content for them. To do this, we're going to see which keywords our direct competitors are ranking for and how many more long tail keywords they're ranking for as a result. Here's exactly how to do that. We'll enter a theoretical competitor for our gardening blog into Ahrefs Site Explorer and head to the top pages report. As we scroll down, we'll be able to see each URL, the traffic driven to that URL, the number of keywords it's ranking for, and its position for the top keyword in the search results. As we want to focus on the keywords themselves, Cells, we'll sort the report to show us the URLs that rank for the most keywords. These flags next to each top keyword tell us the country where this URL ranks. If you want to narrow this down, we can scroll up and filter by a specific country. Now when we scroll down, we'll see where each URL ranks within the United States only. You need to focus on the following columns. The top keyword that URL ranks for, the search volume of that keyword, the ranking position of that URL, the number of keywords that website ranks for, and the traffic driven as a result of ranking for all those keywords. We're looking for a keyword with a decent search volume that enables the URL to rank for a lot of other keywords. We also want this keyword to drive a good amount of traffic to the URL relative to the ranking position. We usually have to scroll around for these keywords, but let's take a look at the top keyword, purple plants outdoor, as an example. Firstly, let's look at the search volume. Remember not to aim your sites too high for search volume as we're still looking for those lucrative long tail keywords. If we were to plot this keyword on our graph, the estimated search volume of two and a half thousand just about qualifies as a long tail keyword, so it passes on search volume. We can also see that that URL ranks for loads of other keywords and generates a lot of traffic in comparison to the search volume and ranking position. This means we could note this down as a good phrase for us to target. To find more keywords, you'd simply repeat this process. And then to create the content, we'd simply look at the content included within this URL and take a look at the top ranking website for Purple Plants Outdoor and create content that's better. If you want to know more about how to develop a content marketing strategy for your chosen keywords, I recommend that you check out our guide to content creation for SEO. I think it's also important to touch upon a couple of other things you need to consider when choosing long tail keywords. Categorizing keywords can get complicated, but it does get easy with practice. Whether a keyword is considered to be long tail depends on the search volume of the C word you're comparing it to, so you'll always need to take this into consideration. Also bear in mind that if a website already ranks for a C keyword, it probably also ranks for a lot of the long tail keywords within that topic. If this website has a higher 
higher authority and more backlinks than the website you're optimizing, then it's unlikely to rank for any of those long tail keywords, even if your content is sublime. We can thank the weight of all the other Google ranking factors for that one. So to summarize, long tail keywords are low volume search terms that are often very specific, niche orientated, and have little competition, making them easy to rank for. This also means that they create an opportunity to grow traffic to your website and increase conversions with fewer resources. What's the shortest long tail keyword you can think of? Tweet us at FatJoeWho using the hashtag shortlongtail. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we publish our next video. See you then.